I'm going to read you one of my favourite books, which is There's a Wocket in My Pocket by Dr Zeus. It's a rhyming um, story with lots of nonsense words in it. Hope you enjoy it. There's a wocket in my pocket. Did you ever have the feeling there's a wasket in your basket? Or a neuro in your bureau? Or a was it in your closet? Sometimes I feel quite certain there's a jerton in the curtain. Sometimes I have the feeling there's a zlock behind the clock. And that zelf up on the shelf, I have talked to him myself. There he is. That's the kind of house I live in. There's a nink in the sink. And a zamp in the lamp. And they're rather nice, I think. Some of them are very friendly, like the yacht in the pot. But that yachtle in the bottle. Some are friendly, some are not. I like the zabel on the table and the gare under the chair. But that bofer on the sofa, well, I wish he wasn't there. Those nubbards in the cupboards, they're good fun to have about. But that noothbrush on my toothbrush, him I could do without. How's he going to clean his teeth? The only one I'm really scared of is that vug under the rug. And that quibney up the chimney, I don't like him, not at all. And it makes me sort of nervous when the Zool scoots down the hall. But the Yeps on the steps, they're great fun to have around. And so are many, many other friends that I have found. There's the Yeps. Like the Teller and the Nella and the Geller and the Della and the Bella and the Weller and the Zeller and the Seller. There they all are. And the geeling on the ceiling. And the zower in my shower. And the zillow on my pillow. I don't care if you believe it. That's the kind of house I live in. And I hope we never leave it. Well, I ho hope you enjoyed that story. Maybe you can write about some of the things you have in your house. See you soon. Bye.